So this dark green, um, you know, army green uh, ASIM board was something I had so much fun on at the demos and we all liked so much. Um, in crappy snow too, it just really shined there. And it has such unique um, differences from two of our favorite asymmetrical twins, the, the Never Summer Prototype 2 and the Yes Greats, uh, that I just wanted to give this a little more time, a little more love, um, try this in different conditions, and really just kind of see how this fares and compares to the other boards. So I just straight up fucking bought this with our hard earned good ride dollars. Hard earned. I mean, I bust my hump out there for you guys. Um, but uh, this, you can see here, has that cool asymmetrical tech. You can see how this is the toe side. Um, you can just, they really spell it out easy. They say heel side here, they, but then you also see the little extensions in the edges here, the power pods, and they're wider on the toe side and narrow on the heel side. So it's really hard to screw this one up. Um, you can see it's got a nice healthy bow of camber and looks pretty much like it's almost traditional, like true camber in ride. And you can kind of see as I um, press down, it kind of cams out like they say. Um, so, you know, there's a little bit of early rise and maybe just a little bit of rock up when you you know, weight yourself down on the board. Um, so it's not really gonna be like the uh, powder champion. It's got a long nose and a tail, but it's it's like where I feel this shines, like where I think the greats and the proto can do a little better maybe all around. Um, this just has that like brilliance when it comes to turning and carving because of this extra camber, this little bit of edge hold. So it's going to shine just maybe a little better than those boards. Um, and those boards are gonna be a little better in powder, but it's still a great board to have and to use. Um, so I love it. And you can kind of see these extensions are subtle, but they really do seem to make a good difference. They're not quite like hard snow, like icy snow kind of, you know, edge hold technology, you know, extensions, but they're more like, more like a mellow mag or, um, you know, like Arbor, kind of, they're totally different than Arbor system, you know, um, extensions in the edge, but they're, um, but they grip similarly. So they're great in hard snow, um, but when you really get into the icy stuff, you probably want to go to a more aggressive side cut, something that has a harder grip, but this grips really well, and I love that. And for me, where, you know, and for a lot of you out there, you never know what kind of conditions you're going to get. So, and, and this is a quiver board. This is the Nitro Quiver Fury. So it's that perfect board for those guys who just want like something to rip pipe, something to go hit kickers, something to just carve up groomers, regular and switch, kind of take a more, a slightly more technical approach to mountain freestyle riding. And I love that. You can see this base here. I love these bases because there's just no die cut. There's nothing going on. It's not like you're super, um, it's not a high maintenance base. It's, it's like that girlfriend that's just as cool, like um, getting Taco Bell as she is going to a fine restaurant. You know, you can kind of do both with it. It's not gonna um, shine when waxed, you know, profusely every day, um, but it's gonna do really well. It just kind of has, you know, kind of has that nice middle ground. It's never gonna just like fail on you um, unless you really abuse it. Uh, so you can, it feels like you can skip a day, maybe a few, and then just wax it a little less consistently and I like that. But I also like that it's just a clear base and those are really easy to repair if you have a good base gun and clear PTEX and you don't take a, you don't light the candle with a lighter and let that black stuff drip into the clear and make it look all funky. You can, you can repair this to where you almost don't even notice uh, the gash as long as you don't get down into the core. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of it. Basically, look, with these kind of boards, you want to set them up centered and you don't really want to, um, 
like set them back. You can a little bit, but it's really not much at all. And let me do some math here for you, which is like the worst thing in my life. I hate math. Um, can't tell you every summer in high school, I was at summer school in math because I sucked at math. Um, but 19 and just about three quarters is the narrowest you can go with traditional discs. And the widest is 23 and there's only five inserts. So it's not a lot of inserts. It would be great if they had six, maybe one there, one there, or you know what I mean? Two here or two here, but that's fine. Um, so you're really basically just putting it centered and equally duck. These asymmetrical twins can not feel that great if you don't have them set up perfectly duck and perfectly centered. They, they want you to do that. Um, so if, but if you, you know, this is a quiver board again, but if you're going to get one, if you're going to get this as your daily driver, maybe you don't see a lot of powder or you don't care when there's a lot of powder or you're just really good and you know how to keep your float in powder. Like you've ridden a lot of camber twins, um, back in the day and you just know how to keep your speed and stay afloat and good on you. That was always a struggle for us average guys, but uh, I, I knew some friends who could do that. Just have more fun than me. Um, but uh, let's say you just want to set it all the way back though. Um, 21 and a quarter is all the way back. And then kind of like this, you're looking at 20 and a half and you're looking at about 18 and three quarters. So let's do some math here. Um, 20.5 minus 18.75. So you're only looking at 1.75 inches uh, in difference between um, the nose versus the tail length. And then you divide that by two. So you're looking at less than an inch back on board, 0.875. So, um, you really don't get this. Don't get this thinking you can set this back and get some directional float. It's just keep it centered. I mean, this is how you want to ride this board. You want to keep it always centered. You want to stay always duck. You want to ride switch just as much as you ride regular. That's one of the things I love about asymmetrical boards. They just turn really well to start with just because they're matching, you know, the asymmetry of our, of our stance. And then the rest of it's symmetrical to how we're riding. So you can kind of go either way really well. It makes like adequate switch riders a little better like myself and people learning switch. It's kind of fun uh, to have a board like this, although this is pretty catchy. So probably wouldn't recommend it to you beginner intermediate riders. But um, that's what makes this board fun is just really true, like mountain freestyle, just kind of going everywhere, you know, um, you know, just riding pipe, um, hitting kickers, carving up the mountain regular and switch, treating the mountain like a park. That's what this board can do. It's even okay at buttering, not great, but pretty good. So there you have it. Uh, the Quiver Fury. Uh, happy to have this in my quiver.